Hey there, in this video we will be talking about 10 very basic but very useful and map commands you should be knowing if you are working or want to work in the field of network security or information security. No doubt if you are familiar with the nmap then you will be knowing few of them but I suggest you to watch complete video. This command will help you while using advanced nmap commands. First. If you don't know about the nmap, then let me give you a short intro. nmap is a tool widely used by network security engineers and ethical hackers for scanning networks, ports, firewall, network service and so on. So without wasting our time, let's get started with the first command. The basic command or I can say the default nmap command used to scan single target can be written as nmap and the target IP. Now here I am using my local server for testing purpose and for security reasons too. I will not recommend you to scan networks which you do not have permissions. Scanning those networks might get you in trouble. So be aware of that. So let's get started with our first command which can be used for single network target scanning that is nmap and my server IP. Now suppose you have multiple targets and you want to scan them all together. To make your work easy, you can use the second command that is nmap and all targets with a space in between them. That is nmap target1 space target2. Space target three. As you can see over here, three IP addresses, one host is up. The multiple target scanning can work well if you have three to four targets. But what we can do if we have 40 to 50 targets and want to scan them all together. The solution for this will be scanning range of targets. So our next command will be for scanning range of targets that is nmap and range of target can be defined as 192. So it will scan all the targets for you that is 21 IPs okay and it states that 3 hosts are up. This is the testing servers and other IP assigned to the different devices. Our fourth command will give you a leverage to scan entire subnet and command can be driven as nmap 192.168.0.124 If you don't know about the subnet then you should google it. There are lots of blog out there. So as you can see here it has scanned 256 IP address and 4 hosts are up. Okay. So you can see the difference of. Now, suppose you have list of targets, but all of them are in different range. So we can't simply use entire range 
as all of them are in different range. The best thing you can do is you can copy all the target into notepad and save it as a text file. Now you can simply tell nmap to scan target from the text file. So this will be the fifth command that is scanning list of targets from the text file and the command can be given as nmap space dash small i and capital L and the destination of the text file. Now here the text file is located on the desktop. Let me show you inside so that you don't get confused. So this is the text file and we will be scanning all these targets. Okay. As you can see the range of the IPs are different. Here 1, 0, 6. Okay. So what I will do, I will type and map dash il and the location of the file that is desktop slash file dot text sorry it will be txt See, it states that 5 IP address are scanned and 2 hosts are up from which one of them is our testing server and the router IP. Okay. Let me clear. Now suppose you are getting bored and having no work to do. Then mem and map also have this command to get you to the work that is choosing random targets. Personally, I will not suggest you to use this command as it will randomly start scanning any targets of which you do not have permissions and might get you in trouble. So the command goes like this and map dash small i capital R and the number of random targets that you want. It can be 3, 4, 10, anything. So let me give you for give here 3. So it states that 0 host are up. So it is basically depends on random uh, random IPs. Okay. Let me give here 5. See it found an IP that's a random one okay it has scanned 5 IP address and randomly it has found one host up okay now if you have a range of target but you know that you don't have to scan for a specific target then our seventh command can be used that is excluding target from scan we can give that command as and map and the range of target that is 192.168.100-110 and we have to exclude a specific target so we will add space double dash exclude okay and the target IP. Now let me give the our server IP here 192.168.0.108. Okay. Uh, what happened to you? Okay. The I I have done mistake over here. Zero. Sorry. Zero dot. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. 
exclude will be e x c l u d yeah perfect okay so as you can see it has scanned 10 ip address and found two hosts are up but it has excluded the scanning of this ip which is our testing server server okay and we know that this ip is up similarly our eighth command will be for excluding list of targets from range for that we can again use command which will exclude all the targets given inside the text file and a command will be look like and map list of IP and our target excluded targets files okay so what I will do I will simply exclude the target from the text file so what we can write over here space double test exclude file sorry exclude file now make a note here we have to write exclude file in previous command we have only written exclude and the specific IP but here we are writing exclude file and giving the destination of the file okay so desktop file dot txt so now what it will do it will scan this IP range and exclude all the IPs which are present in this text file So as you can see it has scanned 20 IP address and detected that two hosts are up. Now our next command which is the ninth command. Our ninth command will be for aggressive scan. In aggressive scan nmap script engine that is NSE will automatically select the advanced commands which are most commonly used in nmap example scan for operating system trace root and so on therefore instead of giving individual commands if you if you want to test such commonly used commands then you can simply do aggressive scan the command can be given as and map space dash capital a and the target ip 192 dot one six eight dot zero one zero eight it will take some time so you can see the difference of information we are getting here using the aggressive scan First, we were using simple scan and you can see the results of uh, aggressive scan have given us version, service, state and much more. Okay, So you can use aggressive scan on your target. The tenth and the last one is for scanning IPv6 targets. As we all know that IPv4 is getting out of IP addresses. Many times you will find networks with IP6 target addresses. IP6 address is different from IPv4. Let me show you an example. Okay. This is the example of IPv6 address. You can notice the difference. It is 128 bit having deck hexadecimal and separated by the columns it, it contains the hexadecimal values and separated by the columns so 
to scan ipv6 address you have to tell nmap that your target is ipv6 and command can be given as nmap space dash 6 which state that you are going to scan ipv6 address okay now i don't have any active ipv6 address here so what i will do i will use this ip address okay so it won't give that uh, host is up because i don't know that I, ip address exists or not but let's try so this is our ipv6 address okay and hit enter so it states that one ip address and the zero host is up so this ip address host is not active these are the top 10 and map commands which you should be knowing if you found this video helpful then please like it to support me and share it with others who might find this helpful and please don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this till then take care